you see, a lot of people want to know what's my target audience. Who am I talking to? What is the demographic I'm trying to go for? My target, my target audience are AEW shill cult versions. That's my target audience. The, the AEW shills you see in my comment section, crying and acting like a beta male stand for wrestlers that don't give a shit about them, for a company that don't give a shit about them, that's my target audience. You know what I'm saying? That's my target audience. Look, man, y'all should be thanking me. Okay? I'm not a hater. I'm neutral. I'm trying to make you see the goddamn light. Now, look. When AEW was nothing more than an idea, I was excited about AEW. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, maybe this will push the WWE on making better shows probably. Okay. I'm, I'm excited. Y'all on TNT? Okay, cool. I'm like, then... Then the fans, y'all just, man, y'all just fucked it up, man. Y'all went too far. To the point where I was just done. Y'all went too far. It all started with the stupid-ass pep rally. That was so cringe and just so overdone and corny. That was the most insufferable pep rally I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Where you had all these... Fucking, fucking beta male simps hoping for the WWE's demise saying Vince is crying right now Vince is sweating hey Vince how you feeling right now all because Jericho stepped on stage with uh, forget I, I don't want to talk bad about Jericho I was I was going to say something about him but all because Jericho stepped on stage, right? Y'all think Vince was crying, saying Jericho was going to put the WWE out of business. Once y'all said that, I was done. Okay? Because that didn't age well. Now, did it, Mr. 1.2 million viewer company? Y'all ceiling is 1.3. And guess what? It ain't going no higher than that. Y'all blew y'all load. Okay? Did you know CM Punk only drew 700k on fucking Rampage? How much money are y'all paying him? At least with Brock, you are getting your money's worth. Fucking, fucking, um... Fucking, 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 um, numbers wise, you are getting your numbers worth numbers wise with fucking Brock. What are you paying for with CM Punk? What, what, seriously? 700K? Who are y'all putting out of business, bitch? Huh? Hmm? I need answers, Sway. You ain't got the answers. I've been doing this more than you. Okay? Once, ever since that fucking pep rally, I have been very anti AEW, and I don't, I don't mean to. I'm just trying to have you see the light. Just focus on yourself. Stop competing with the WWE. And this clip I'm about to play of Eric Bischoff shitting on this key demo narrative, nigga. He is a Hall of Famer. How come he's on my side? That means I know about pro wrestling, you bitch. Huh? Nigga, he's been in wars. He's been in wars when people were actually watching wrestling from a mainstream perspective. So let me get this straight. A Hall of Famer is agreeing with me that key demos is nothing but a piece of shit narrative? All he did was repeat what I've been saying in all my videos. The key demographic is nothing more than 
and a false narrative that you're trying to cling on to because you are insecure. You need validation that you think this is a war, but it's not. It's not. That's why Vince is handing you talent that he don't care about. You see what I'm saying? You want Adam Cole? Take him. Adam Cole had two choices. Either change your name, change your gimmick, or take your ass to AEW with your, with your fucking friends. And that's what he did. He took his ball and he went home. Okay? I'm trying to have y'all see the light. I'm not being a hater. Is Eric Bischoff a fucking hater? How is he a hater? Didn't 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 he show up on fucking dynamite? So how is he a hater? I think he's fucking neutral. See, I'm neutral. Okay, I'm having I'm trying to have you see the light. That's why my target audience are the AEW versions that you see in my comment section. You are my target audience. Don't you understand? How am I a troll? And I'm giving you facts and evidence. Look at my Adam Cole video about him being the new fucking X-Pac. I'm giving you facts. And evidence. Adam Cole is the new X-Pac. I wasn't lying. I gave you pictures. I gave you information that you can see on Google, you dumb bitch. Huh? What you mean? So, I'm about to play this clip of Eric Bischoff shitting on your false narrative about key demos actually matter because, because they don't. Okay? All right. Listen to fucking Eric Bischoff give you fucking facts. What do you make of the new conversation really centering around, okay, total viewers matters, but how many are 18 to 49 really matter? I think if you're buying, if you're a, an executive in a media buying company or an advertising agency, I think it matters Yeah. to the rest of the world. It doesn't mean two shits, but it is something that everybody can pat themselves on the back for. And I'm talking about AEW supporters and fans and Hey, I'm not, not knocking it by the way. I'm excited that everybody's excited. But when someone asked me, what do you really think of, you know, all of the focus and it's primarily driven by the internet wrestling community and the, the, the people that write for it. Um, it. That's what it's driven by because it's, it's true. 18 to 49. And by the way, it's not new. It's been that way. It was that way when I made the decision to, to go after the 18 to 49 year old male demo, not because I was brilliant, but because I knew that there was no way I was going to be WWE and what WWE was doing back before Nitro or when Nitro launched, I couldn't go after the teen and preteen audience because they owned it and they had owned it for decades. And I knew I couldn't be better at that than they were. So I was kind of, okay, well, I'm going to go after 18 to 49. And at that time, the 18 to 49 year old, year old demo was important. Um, women were actually more important in that demo than men. I think the, the logic that was, that I was hearing from Turner ad sales was that, um, women generally control the budget in the house, whether that means whether or not we can afford a pay-per-view this month or whether or not we can afford to go to a wrestling event this month or how much wrestling merchandise we can buy. If we decide to go to the wrestling event that happens to be a pay-per-view, I mean, women, you know, generally, and this is, I don't know this as a fact, but it's what I was told. So 18 to 49 has always been important, but um, I think today it's it's so much of the conversation because it's a line item that those who are anti WWE and pro AEW could go, yeah, but AEW beat WWE in the demo. Fucking deal. AEW beats AEW on a Wednesday night with no competition, no real competition for 18 to 49. There's always competition, but no major competition. So AEW on a Wednesday night gets a 3% or a 4% or 6% or 10%, whatever, higher percentage in the demo than Monday Night Raw going head-to-head with Monday Night Football, where the vast majority of the 18 to 49-year-olds that watch wrestling, but they also watch football, they're going to be over there. 
I, I, and I, I did a show the other day. I did an interview with somebody and I said, it's kind of like me getting into a fist fight with Mike Tyson's kid and, and coming out on top of that. You know, his kid's only 16 or 18 years old. I'm, I'm just making this up, right? I don't even know if Mike Tyson has a 16 or 18 year old kid. But if he did, or if he does, and I were to, you know, mop the floor with that 16 to 18 year old kid, who knows if that would really happen, but it, it, let's just say I did fantasy we're, booking here. We're way up. And that's there. like me walking around saying I, I beat the shit out of Tyson. Yeah. Well, wrong time. Yeah. Well, technically, but not really. And, and then, I mean, that's one example. And then the other thing that I, you know, go to is who's, who's that little douchebag, Brian Alvarez. Oh gosh. No, I mean, I'm just, no, is that, that's a cast name, right? Cause I want to get it right. I've made, I've made huge errors in that. Respect. Brian Alvarez, you mean with the wrestling <laughs> observer, Dave Meltzer. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. That, that little fucking Twinkie. Um, he was so excited about the Wednesday night wars. AEW did this. And now granted it was head to head. So I, it was, I guess, kind of more closely related to a TV war, but still it was the very best lineup in, on AEW's roster against the developmental squad. Yeah. Not really competition folks. That's not the same thing. But everybody wants there to be, and I do too, by the way, I'm one of you, not criticizing, I'm observing, but every, all of us want there to be that Monday night war vibe. We want that as fans because it was fun. And history has taught, taught us that it actually raises the tide and everybody's boat floats a little higher when that happens. So we're all, we want that. But it's not really a war yet. And then when you, you, you I, I almost posted this, but I refrain, you know, because I just I try positive things. Not that I only think positive thoughts, trust me, but I try. I, I discipline myself not to get snarky unless I think it's funny. If, if I think people see the humor and I'll give it a whack. But, you know, I, I was tempted, you know, when Alvarez posts, you know, the success of AEW because he's so anti-WWE at least what I read in here. Um, I was going to say, well, what about those Friday night wars? How are they going for you? How's that? I mean, that's not really a war because WWE has an advantage in that they're eight to 10 and coming on 11 is, yeah, that's tough because not a lot of people are watching television at 11 o'clock at night on a Friday night. So AEW on a Friday night is a, is at a very big disadvantage in terms of trying to compare apples to apples. But let's just go back to, you know, the comparison that everybody likes to make. It's okay when those who write about ratings and talk so much about 18 to 49, like it's the end all be all and it's not, it's one component and an important one, but it is not the end all be all. Trust me. um, When it comes to revenue, but since People like Brian Alvarez were so excited about comparing AEW, the A team against WWE or NXT in this case, the C team. Let's kind of do the same thing. If that's how we're going to, you know, contextualize this battle. What about the fact that SmackDown delivered at least last week or week before more viewers in the demo than AEW had for total viewers, people two years old and above. That's kind of a big deal, but nobody talked about that, right? Nobody wants to make that comparison because, well, that doesn't make me look good. So I'm, I'm just going to stick to I beat Tyson's kid up, and I'm going to tell everybody I beat Tyson, beat the well, shit out it, of Tyson. Is it that, or is it almost that it's not newsworthy? Like because WWE, <laughs> excuse me, has, you know every advantage in the world, you know, they're a bigger business. They've been doing it longer. They've generated more revenue. They have more valuable contracts. They have more talent, et cetera, et cetera. Aren't they kind of supposed to win? And when they do, is that really news? Is it really news when 
any wrestling company moves the needle up or down by three or 4% in a demo. That doesn't mean anything to the overall business. I take that back. No, it doesn't mean it's incremental. It's not even a rounding error when it comes to its actual value in the ad sales marketplace. It makes no difference whatsoever. These weekly fluctuations of 2%, 5%, 10%, whether AEW gets a higher rating in the demo on Wednesday night with no competition than the Monday night raw does a cup against Monday night football. It means absolutely nothing. And it in itself is not newsworthy, but it's people click, right? Because people think it matters more than it does. I'm not suggesting it doesn't matter. And by the way, I'm so excited for AEW. I'm, I'm not bad mouthing them. I'm just trying to point out to people to be, have as much fun as you, and if that's your thing and it, 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 you know, it, it makes you happy, then go, go ahead, get excited about that. You live in that just, but if you want to understand the business of the wrestling business, recognize it really for what it is. If, if you want an informed opinion, otherwise have at it. Yay. So Meltzer would write. Dynamite one with me. I swear, man. Do you know who AEW fans are? It's like the Michael Jordan and the LeBron constant discussion, even though we shouldn't be having this discussion. LeBron James would never be on Michael Jordan's level. Never. You know, you know how these Braun fans keep saying, well, LeBron been to 10 finals. He's he's the GOAT. Um, look here, bitch. He lost six times out of 10 attempts. He's a loser. Okay. Michael Jordan won six out of six. And fucking Goat James. Oh, Goat. Oh, Goat James. He lost six times. And he only won f- two chips. With D Wade and Bosch, two Hall of Famers, after he said he was he was he was gonna win eight, ten, nine, huh? That's the equivalent of AEW saying they are bidding raw in the key demos. It's the same thing. So Braun been to 10 finals, Jordan only been to six. But who has the most rings? Who has the most Rings that actually mean something. Six out of six versus four chips in, in 10 attempts. He's a loser. Raw is beating you in the overall viewership. It's over. It's the same thing. How is LeBron James better? And he been in 10 finals, lost six of them. Only won four out of the 10 attempts. And Jordan made all his six finals look fucking easy. Like it was light work. What the the fuck you mean, man? Like I said, Michael Jordan is the WWE. AEW is fucking LeBron James. Oh, go James. LeBron is a loser. He's trying to cling on to any kind of stat to have us believe he's the GOAT and he would never be the GOAT. It's over. It's done. Once he lost to Dirk, nigga, your GOAT case is over. Hell, nigga, you ain't better. Look, LeBron, you ain't better than fucking Kobe Bryant. LeBron is not better than Kobe fucking Bryant. Let that sit again for a second. So how the hell you better than fucking uh, Jordan? You lost to fucking Dirk, an old ass Mavs team in 2011. So a young team in in their prime, future Hall of Famers, y'all lost to an old ass team with old ass kid, old ass old ass Terry, old ass Dirk, old ass Ch- old ass Chandler, old ass Pager. That was an old geezer team, and y'all lost to him. See, see. That's A.W. Who cares if you've been to 10 finals? How many are you winning? 
Who cares if you win it in the key demos? How many more viewers do you have more than a WWE? Huh? I thought having I thought having more fans matter, right? Raw has way more viewership than you. That means they have more fans. So how are you better? What are those fans watching? What are those fans then watching out of habit? No, those are real fans watching Raw every fucking week. How come they are not gravitating towards your program on Wednesday? They are wrestling fans, aren't they? How come they watch it? This is not a war. WCW and uh, Raw, they were sharing viewers. Okay, Raw and Dynamite are not sharing shit. Okay, that 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 little one point one viewers that y'all get weekly, maybe nine hundred k. Look, that's y'all niche. Y'all ain't going no higher than that. That's y'all niche. That's y'all hardcore audience. And the fact that you keep on introducing all these unknown New Japan guys with no build up, no vignettes, no information, because you assume. A guy like me is supposed to know who they are. That's laziness. Give me information on why I should care about Suzuki. Okay, okay, bitch. Give me information on why I should care about him, John Moxley. Why should I care about him? I don't watch New Japan, bitch. Why should I care about him? Give me something to go on. Why is he a legend? Give me info, bitch. See, I'm, 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 I'm done. Key demo is overrated. Key demos don't mean shit, and I'm done.